I'm going to give it a second. See if anybody hops on. I know it's kind of an awkward time. Well, not really. After eight, after eight o'clock on a Monday night. I will say this. This one's got me. Um, this one's got me a little nerved up, people. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. I'm in my kitchen, so sometimes it cuts out a little bit. Are you guys hearing me? All right. <clears throat> Give me a hello if you guys can hear me all right. Uh -uh. Yeah, so like I said, tonight, this one's got me nerved up. Not gonna lie. I mean, why wouldn't it? Um, there has been, there have been several people for quite some time that I have heard um, some testimonies and um, about this topic. And everyone's always asking me, and I think it's because I'm a nurse, and they're always like, somebody's got to talk about it. Somebody has to, you know, educate people about it and why it's working and why it's happening. And it's like, I can talk about it in my profession, but, like, out to the public, I'm just like, hmm, all right, how am I going to talk about this? All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I am just trying to get this shared because I promised some people I would share it. All right, so CBD and sex. Let's get it out there, okay? Now, let me just say, I am not a doctor. I am not a pharmacist, okay? I cannot legally claim that CBD is going to help you or um, treat, cure, prevent any ailment, any disease, okay? This is what I'm about to talk about is strictly just from customer and um, customer and other company affiliates testimonials, okay? So these are things that I've literally collected over the last year and a half. These are testimonies that I've collected myself in the past year and a half with my um, experience. Yes, I'm definitely nervous. Uh, who here drinks hard cider? Hard cider is one of my favorites. This is the Strongbow, the Cherry Blossom. This is this usually comes out like end of August. This flavor is delicious. All right, so many of you here know that I work with a CBD company, right? CBD has been shown to help with tons of things. Again, I'm still not a doctor, I'm not medically claiming anything. All right, now, I actually started getting some customers. We, I, let's start with younger females, okay? Mid 20s, 30s, they inquire about taking CBD for anxiety, all right? And then a month later, they come back to me and they're like, you know, Jackie, what I didn't tell you is I have a thyroid disorder. And I've been married to the love of my life for years. But with my thyroid disorder, um, I have no libido, no want, no desire to be with my husband or be intimate. And she said, but when I started taking the CBD, I wanted to be with my husband. And to me, that was extremely touching because let's face it, you guys, sex is important. Sex is a part of life, right? So the, the effects of a poor sex life and what it can have on a good relationship, a good solid relationship, it's, it's heartbreaking. So when you have a married woman come to you that says, you know, I've been married to the love of my life forever and I just, I had no desire and now I do. And I think it could be because I read up that CBD can help with thyroid and hormones. And I really think that this, you know, it, it was helping. And I was just, I was so moved. I was like, wow, this is, it's beautiful. That's amazing. So um, that's one thing. That's one re way it can help. Um, a lot of other people, anxiety can play a big factor in someone's sex life. Um, you know, a lot of cases of ED have been linked to anxiety. Um, and then anxiety, just to, at the thought 
of the action, right? Sorry, my, I'm doing this from my laptop, so I feel like I'm like not center. I'm like backwards. Every, every time I think I'm moving the right way, it doesn't go that way. Sorry, that's my ADD. Okay, where was I? So anxiety, just at the, the thought of the action of having sex just makes it, you know, you get so anxious and then depressed and then down about it. And then you're like, all right, the mood's gone anyway. So anxiety, there have been so many studies and so many testimonies of CBD helping with anxiety. Okay. We have had older men come and say that they haven't had to use like their Viagra or their Rebatio or their Cialis. Um, and, you know, could it have been anxiety? It might be. It's really crazy. Who knows what it is? But I was reading some studies on vasodilation too. And I know for half of you guys, that, that like means nothing, right? But I was, I was reading. I was like, okay, okay. Um, let's see now. Now more and more, I'm having more people come to me. So I have some customers with a condition. Now these are females um, with a condition called endometriosis. And um, endometriosis can cause severe um, vaginal pain, both during and not during sex. Um, so I've actually, so our, CBD is actually, um, our carrier oil is fractionated coconut oil. And if anybody ever does studies, um, coconut oil there have, you know, if you've ever read anything, there's studies that coconut oil can help with vaginal health. Um, and it can also be used as a natural lubricant. So we actually have some women that are using our CBD oil as a natural lubricant. It is actually taking away the pain that they're experiencing during intercourse. Um, and, and again, these are fairly young women. Not, they haven't been married for very long. They weren't looking to end their sex life anytime soon, but this condition came up, this medical condition, and left them with no control over it. So when they come to me and they say, hey, started using your CBD as a lubricant, and can I just tell you that there is no pain and I'm super excited and my husband's satisfied and I'm satisfied and it's, it's a beautiful thing, you guys. It really, really is. Never mind those older couples who it's like, you know, they're facing those elderly year situations and now all of a sudden they're not having to take their Viagra or their Cialis or Revatia, whatever it might be that they're taking, right? Um, let's face it. Let's face it, it's happening, it's helping. And someone has got to tell everyone about it because medications that doctors prescribe for um, performance <laughs> um, enhancing, I suppose. So medications that doctors are prescribing aren't good for your health, guys. And I mean, sex is supposed to be something that's, you know, worry free, right? So um, when people aren't having to take these risky medications, just saying, hey, I'm just saying people are coming to me and telling me that it's working. And I'm just sharing their stories. I, hey, I'm not making any medical claims. I'm not saying it's going to work or it isn't going to work. Oh, and the endometriosis too. Also, um, females are telling me that, you know, because intermittently they will experience abdominal cramping and a lot of it and very severe. Um, so they really, I've gotten a lot of great, um, I'm sorry, my computer's not working and I'm seeing that there's like tons of comments and I can't see them. Sorry. Um, it's acting up on me. Um, but yeah, I'm still super nervous talking about this, but does anybody have any questions? Wow. I can't believe, I, I feel like there's a million things that I wanted to talk about. And I, I told myself I really should have wrote down some notes um, because I'd forget because come on guys, <sighs> whatever. I'm a nurse. And I, I talked about this all the time in my profession. It's a natural thing. It's, it's life. Okay. All right. Okay. So since I cannot see any comments, 
Um, I will actually hop on here and just answer any questions, you know, separately, or if I have to PM you, I will. Um, I don't know if anybody's putting their business out there on my video. If you are, hey, more power to you. Um, but we can take it in private. Um, but yes, you guys, just to sum it up for anybody who's just hopping on, my video was basically about customers and company ambassadors who are coming to me and just claiming that CBD is helping them with their sex life. And um, no one ever wants to talk about it. And they all ask me to. So I talked about it. So there's many, many, many ways that CBD is helping with the sex life. And um, you never know. Oh, oh, crap. Mm. I wanted to do a giveaway during this. Oh, I'm so upset now. That's why I hate, I hate this when I'm nervous. I don't usually let, no, I, I did take a big dose of CBD, but this one, this wasn't helping. Okay, so I actually wanted to do a giveaway during my live. Now, Green Horizon carries a product, and it's one of my favorite products because I don't just use it for what it is. I use, it's versatile for me. So we carry a product and it is CBD infused massage oil. And it's amazing, it's one of my favorite products. So um, I actually use it as a daily moisturizer on my skin because I absolutely love the smell. Um, but it also, there is something very intimate about it. And I have a bottle that I want to give away to someone who would really love to have it. So if you're watching right now, comment below with hashtag massage oil right now. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to be off of here. I'm going to hop into these comments and we will draw a winner at random. I have an app that will do it. And this is not going to be open very long. Literally, if you're on it live, you're going to get the opportunity. So hashtag massage oil and let's do this. All right. Start commenting and I'll be I'll be in the comments in the next five minutes. OK, so and if you have any questions, you know, specifically if anybody wants to talk in private about their about their condition or, you know, what might be going on with you. I am happy to talk. I am a nurse, as I've said, so I can keep it very professional. Um, but yes, get to commenting, hashtag massage oil. I'll see you in the comments in five minutes. Good night, guys.